Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from GMG Studio. Today we will continue with gym legs and we will add Swift format to our project because we want to make sure that our code is formatted well to avoid voice messages. Although I have to admit, they are very funny. Your brain is formatting. You can see the Swift format page on GitHub. I will link it for you in the description. Ventilation is pretty easy. Just one pre install Swift format in your terminal. As you can see on the screen, it's installing. And now we install Swift format on our Mac. If you want to check which Swift format version you have installed, just write Swift format minus minus version. This is useful because different Swift format versions have different rules. Now we navigate to our path where our project is and we run in the terminal Swift format with a space and a dot. <laughs> As you can see, I struggled a bit. And now it formatted all our Swift files to match the rules. You can see that a lot of files changed because we went Swift format. Swift format added spaces, removed spaces from blank lines, etc. Now you can see the folder of the project and you can see no Swift format files. In their documentation you can see they mention a config file and this is what we want to have too. Because in this config file you can configure rules, exclude them, include them, etc. And here's the comment which we have to run to create it. Just paste this into your terminal and you can see the Swift format file. And what we want to do in this video is to add a file header because I don't like the default ones and we want to make our code to look professional. As you can see in the documentation, there are several things we can add to a file header, like file, year, etc. And we will copy paste this comment and put it into the Swift format file we just created. We can delete everything else because we don't need it anymore. I changed the header a bit. I added lines, spaces, copyright with a year, GMG Studio, etc. And now let's run Swift format. Let's check. Yes, this is how our header will look like. I don't like it, we will change it a bit more, but this is basically the idea of the header. In the background you can see how I just changed the file so it looks a bit nicer. I just changed the header, I added more lines. You can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter, like just do how you like it. So the format is telling us that something is wrong. Let's check. We will just write open and paste the path, so Xcode will open the file. Now Xcode opened the file and as you can see I messed up and Xcode basically outcommented everything. This shouldn't happen to you, it just happened while I was playing around and this is why I speeded it up in the background. And now let's run the format again and as you can see the error is gone. And everything looks fine. And now let's check how the header looks in Xcode, because in Xcode we will see the header the most. Let's see. As you can see it's not perfect and let's fix it. I will speed it up in the background, I just change the header stuff. And yes guys, this is it from the video. There are many more rules you can enable with Swift format, with the Swift format file we just created. You can also disable some rules. I really like the mark rule, so it marks all of your classes and extensions, etc. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And now you can see the header. I really like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Like the video if you liked the video, dislike the video if you disliked the video, subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content. We are also on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to follow us there as well. And have a great day. Start creating, stop consuming.